Welcome everybody. In this video, we'll talk about factoring trinomials where the leading coefficient is not equal to one. And when I say that, typically up to this point, you're probably pretty comfortable that whatever coefficient is with the x squared term, the a coefficient, you're probably pretty comfortable with factoring if it's a one. But in this case, we don't have a one, now it's a nine. So how do we go about factoring this? Well, we can use some of the same strategies we had before, but there's just a little bit extra work that we need to do in order to factor this properly. So the first thing that we're gonna do is take this A term, we're gonna multiply it by the C term. So we're just gonna kind of slide it back here and multiply nine times four. And we're gonna rewrite our expression as x squared plus 13x plus 36. And got the 36 by just doing nine times four. So now it's in the format where this leading coefficient or the x squared coefficient is a one. So we can factor this the way that we normally did. So if we set up our two binomials like this, all right, x is gonna go on the front. That's how we get our x squared by having x times x, we get x squared. Well, what are two numbers that we multiply together to give us 36 that when we add them give us 13? Well, let's check out our factors of 36. To get 36, we can do one times 36. We could also do two times 18. We could also do three times 12. Any of these add up to 13? They don't. What about our next one? We could do four times nine. Yeah, four plus nine, that equals 13. So those are our two factors. All right, and we know that they will be positive and not negative because when we add them up, we get a positive 13. So our two factors are going to be a plus four and x plus nine. But we're not done here. This is how we would have factored it before and we would have been done. But remember at the beginning, we multiplied that nine by the four. So what we have to do now is actually divide that nine back out. So we're gonna take each one of these factors we just put in and divide by nine. Then we're gonna go ahead and simplify where we can. So if we can simplify our fractions, we're gonna do that. This first one we cannot simplify. Four ninths is not, we can't simplify it, so we're just gonna leave it as four ninths. This other one though, x plus nine divided by nine is just one, so we can simplify it. So now we're down to these two binomials, but we don't like fractions in here when we factor it. So what we do is take any denominators we have left over and we're gonna multiply them back out in front of the x. So our new factor is going to be now 9x plus four times x plus one. So now this is our complete factored form of this trinomial. And I'm kind of a skeptic, so let's check to see if this is right. If we multiply the first term by the first term, that gives us 9x squared. Multiply the outside by the outside, that gives us a positive 9x. Multiply the inside times inside, gives us a positive 4x. And multiply the last term by the last term, gives us a positive 4. And if we combine like terms, we get 9x squared plus 13x plus 4 which is what our original expression is, so we know this is the correct factored form.